Hey guys, you're watching Tech Radar. My name is Basil, and Huawei has just dropped the MateBook X Pro at Mobile World Congress. Yeah, they've announced a laptop at a mobile convention. But once I get into this, I'm pretty sure you'll be as excited as I am. The MateBook X Pro is a successor to the MateBook X original and it improves on it in virtually every way. The screen is at 4 by 3 aspect ratio, 3000 by 200 pixels, but there's a 91% screen to bezel ratio here. That is pretty unheard of. How did they achieve this? Because there's no webcam on the actual fascia. Instead, you've got a really cool feature. One of the buttons in like the top row of keys pops up and reveals a webcam. Another reason that's incredibly cool is that's cool for privacy. It means you won't have to put a sticky tape over your web camera if you want it covered. This isn't just a pretty device with some funky gimmicks on here though. Oh no, it's got a lot of power under the hood as well. It's eighth generation Intel Core i7 processor, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM or eight gigabytes of RAM. You can also get it in an Intel i5 variant as well. You've got eight gigabytes of RAM on the i5 variant of 250 six gigabytes of SSD storage, or you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM with 512 gigabytes of SSD storage in the high capacity variant. The high capacity, i.e. the eighth generation i7 variant will also have a GeForce graphics card under the hood and support external GTX 1080 power from Nvidia. So tons and tons of clout here as well. Two USB-C ports, a USB full-size port, both USB-C ports support power with one supporting Thunderbolt 3 out, four speakers on here tuned by Dolby, Dolby Atmos inside which was in the MateBook X, which brought with it class-leading sound for the size back then. We only have high hopes of the update. Battery's been promised to be a full day. We haven't got confirmation as to which version of Windows Home or Pro it runs, but it will run with Windows 10 out of the box. It definitely isn't S. And you've also got four microphones. It should make this excellent for conference calls. It's thinner and lighter than a MacBook Air, so it's really clear to see who Huawei is going after with this device. And next to it, with that screen to bezel ratio, it'll also look really appealing. It also adds a touch screen, 10 point multi-touch to the mix as well. Booting up from cold in something like 7.8 or 7.9 seconds with just a fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner. This looks like something very exciting. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying MWC so far. If you like this and want to check out more content, techradar.com is your destination. Thanks for watching.